Hey guys, it's Matt, and today we'll be reviewing Jobber. Jobber is a scheduling and CRM software for home service businesses. And in this video, I'm gonna give you guys an honest review of Jobber, and in the end, I'll give you my take on whether you should choose them for your business or not. So let's get started. So I own a residential and commercial cleaning company and we've been using Jobber for about six months now. And as I'm sure you know, or you wouldn't be watching this video, scheduling is a tough task and can easily get out of hand as you get busier. So having a great platform to work on is essential to a growing business. And once you pick something, you wanna make sure you're picking the right one because you don't wanna be switching your clients from your old software to new software, wasting your valuable time doing that switch because you made that first decision incorrect. So the first thing we'll be talking about is the scheduling features. Scheduling a client with Jobber is pretty easy and it's simple to do. They have five main viewing formats for your schedule. A monthly calendar view, a weekly calendar view, a grid view, and a list view, and a map view. The monthly and weekly view is pretty straightforward and looks and acts like your typical calendar. The grid view shows your hourly schedule for the day for each team member. This view is great because it lets you see all your visits for the day in a very organized format. I really like this one. And then you have the map view that lets you see your visits for the day on the map so you get to see all their locations for that day. And then the last view is the list view and it's simply a list of all the visits you have scheduled for the day in order and then it loads more as you scroll down the page. Personally, I only use three of those views, the weekly, the grid and the map views. Uh, for how my business operates, those three views show me everything I need to know. The map view has this awesome feature that we use at our business. It's this feature that allows you to pair with a GPS system called Fleet Sharp and I think they're partners. And if you have multiple parts for your business, this is a great thing to have because you get to see exactly where each one of your team members are on the map, like live. So it's pretty cool. And then you get to see the visits as well. Now let's talk about payments. Jobber makes accepting payments from your clients very easy. And when you send them an invoice by email, they simply click that pay invoice button in the email and then they can put in their credit card information. They have their own payments platform called Jobber Payments. The cool thing about Jobber Payments is that it allows you to keep your client's credit card information on file for future visits and recurring payments. Another cool feature is that you can get paid instantly if you don't wanna wait for that payout date. And that's a feature that's similar to what Venmo does. Now, one thing I really like about Jobber is that they allow me to use Stripe as my payment backend. This is something that I prefer and actually one of the main reasons why I chose Jobber as my scheduling software for my business. I already used Stripe for other software and applications and wanted to keep it the same. So awesome that I can get that option to choose Stripe as the payment backend instead of Jobber payments. Right now you can use Square, PayPal, Stripe and Authorize.net as payment providers and they don't advertise their Stripe payments options. If you wanna use that, you have to contact them directly and ask for them to turn that feature on and then they'll switch it from the Java payments option to the Stripe option. So next we'll talk about the user experience. I'm gonna say this right off the bat. I believe that Jobber has the best user experience when it comes to scheduling software. It may not have as many features as other software do, but it definitely has the best user experience and design in my opinion. To me, this is super important because I personally can't stand buggy or glitchy software. I've tried some software that I spent a minute on it and never went back because of the terrible design, the navigation was all over the place, and it was like a, just a very buggy and glitchy experience. Wasn't good at all. With Jobber, I've never had that issue which is one of the reasons why I went with them over the other tons of other options. If you're gonna choose a software, choose something that you enjoy using since you're gonna be using it all the time and because it's so important to your business. Now, one thing that Jobber does lack a lot is in their mobile application. There's a lot of useful features on the desktop version of Jobber that isn't on the mobile application. And that's disappointing because I think a lot more people would love to be able to do a lot more on their phone, especially if they're going to be out of the office for the day and won't be near a desktop computer. So they're gonna be on their phone most of the time. It's just disappointing that you can't do as much things as you can on the computer on the phone. One thing that I really like about Jobber 
is their client hub. This isn't just something I like, but also something that my clients really like as well. It's a feature that lets your clients log in into a portal and it displays all their payment information, their next few visits, and they can make requests there too that, don't, that go directly to you. This really helps cut back on unnecessary calls from clients that might be calling you for uh, information about when's my next visit or you know how much is my my next invoice and they can simply just go onto the client hub log in and they can see all that information for themselves without having to call you directly and taking up your time so what do I think about Jobber? I really like Jobber it's not a perfect software but it's very effective and it has a wonderful user experience. I was gonna go with House Call Pro, but I decided to go with Jobber instead, and I don't regret it at all. Now, one thing you might not like about Jobber is the fact that it lacks a lot of third-party applications. This is something that they're slowly adding as time goes on. Like they recently added Google Local Services integration, which is great. But if you're looking for an extensive list of third-party applications, then this might not be the best option for you. Another possible issue you might have with Jobber might be their pricing. Jobber starts at $49 per month for one user and then jumps to $139 per month for up to seven users. That's a pretty significant jump if you're just getting started in your business or if you don't have enough revenue to justify paying $139 per month, especially if it's just you and one more person. It would be great if they had a more flexible plan that charged per user and was directed at much smaller businesses, but I don't think that's coming out anytime soon. Now, I hate this about Jobber so much, is the fact that I can export a list of all the visits for one specific client, and if the client logs into their client hub to see those visits, it only displays the next six visits and doesn't display like 12 visits or for the year. It's not a deal breaker for me and it doesn't happen all the time, but when a client does ask for all the visits of the year, it's kind of annoying that I have to go do it uh, manually. So is Jobber for you? I think that if you have a team of over three people working, Jobber might be an excellent addition to your company. Um, however, if it's just you and one more person, I would say probably not. You can just use Apple Calendar or Google Calendar to schedule your clients especially because you're not dealing with tons of clients. Um, it's when your team starts growing and your clientele list starts growing that things start getting a little hectic and then that's when software really helps. So that's it for this video. I hope that this video helps you make a better decision on what software you should choose for your business and whether you should even have software for your business or not. And like this video guys and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be putting a lot more content out for uh, specifically for people that own small businesses or small local home service businesses. Um, so there's tons of awesome content coming out. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those. And I will see you in the next one.